before we get into today's video, I'd like you guys to check out some new merch we got going on in our Teespring store. I got the samples here. No EIP 1559 sticker and mask. I, I might redo the mask design, but the sticker's still dope. So if you guys want one, they're like $1.99. I'll leave a link for them because they aren't on the YouTube store directly yet. And you guys can go pick them up. But you know, take that sticker and slap it on your mining rig. No EIP 1559. Enjoy the video. Doge. Doji. Doge. Doji. Doge. Doji. It's what the kids call it. Well, I'm an OG. I call it Doge. The Doge coin. Don't correct your elders, son. What's up, guys? How's it going? Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we're going to be talking about the easiest way for you to purchase Doge coin in the United States. Is it recommended? I don't know, probably not. This is definitely not financial advice. This is definitely a terrible long-term investment and I'm gonna show you how to do it, right? So there's lots of different ways to purchase Dogecoin right now. I would recommend avoiding things like, of course, that and Robin Hood. Mm. Now, as we talked about in our Bitcoin video, you should be able to buy it and then send it outside of the wallet. The option we're gonna talk about today doesn't have transfers working yet. <laughs> so if you really want to, you should learn how to use Binance or Bittrex or something along those lines. But we've talked about the easiest ways to buy Bitcoin, which is through, of course, Cash App and then Crypto.com. The only one of those that is an actual exchange where you can purchase Dogecoin is gonna be Crypto.com. If you sign up with a referral link down in the description, you can get $25 extra when you stake enough crow to get that sweet debit card. And that debit card is going to allow you to top up and purchase things directly from your cryptocurrency wallet, which is kind of nice sometimes. Have a little buffer. It works well for miners as well. There's options too, of course, outside of that. And we can talk about all of the different options for cards later. But I have found that crypto.com has the most amount of options out of any of them, at least for the United States. With one big caveat, you can only use the mobile application. Now, recently I've been deciding to decrease the stress in my life and the amount of distractions. And part of that is I'm downgrading to a light phone. If you guys are interested in a video on that and why, let me know in the comment section below. But I still have to keep a tablet around or a phone around just so I can top up my sweet crypto.com card whenever I need to make purchases like that dang power bill. Yeah, that power bill. It's not a joke. Anyways. That's all mining. Today we're talking about buying Dogecoin. So once you have the app set up, it will take one to three days to get verified on the application because it is a federally insured bank. And the reason that you want that is because then obviously, if it is a crypto friendly bank, it makes it easy to convert to and from, of course, fiat. But you do have that wait time of one to three days. I've noticed it's about one day in most of the cases that I've seen, everybody that I've referred to and so on. And that is a business day though. So get on it now because tomorrow's Friday. Get on it now if you wanna get in that Dogecoin pump before the weekend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do. So why is Dogecoin pumping? Well, because Elon, that's about all you need to know. Here's a couple tips on the crypto.com app. If you pop it open and you go and you click a coin, Dogecoin for example, and you purchase that coin, you can also set up alerts for when that coin hits a certain threshold. What should you set for Dogecoin? The moon! Like a dollar, like actually more like probably 10 cents. But you could set the moon! Not really, because they put caps on increases, which is also kind of funny. But, you know, it is what it is. It'll still give you an alert when it goes up. You can also set, you know, it as your favorite coin so that you can see what's happening. Keep checking that, keep checking it over and over and over again. Now, we have talked about mining Dogecoin, and I wanted to be clear that CPU mining Dogecoin doesn't really work. If you want to mine Dogecoin, you want a script miner like this. This is an ASIC script miner specifically. This one is the L3 Plus 
it's pretty weak. It's only like 550 mega hash a second at 800 watts. And currently with Dogecoin, it'll only make you about 90 cents a day. So if you guys were really curious about mining Dogecoin, take that idea and throw it in the trash. Instead, get yourself some graphics card like this sweet, sweet RX 5600 XT smash it into your computer and mine something called Ethereum. If you need help figuring out how to mine Ethereum, we have it on the front page of this YouTube channel. So just click on over there and you can watch a whole guide on how to mine Ethereum on Windows 10. Now we go into more detail on other things in mining farms and using another OS called Hive OS. I'll put a referral link down below, but that will put you in the right direction for mining the proper coin. Then you would take the Ethereum, dump it into that crypto.com app, and then you would go ahead and swap it for Dogecoin. Now, Elon's talking about Doge, it's the people's coin. Why would it be the people's coin? Probably because you can't affect the price near as much as you can in something like Bitcoin, if we're being honest. But can we affect the price? Well, if everybody uses it and it's on that kind of pump like it is right now, could you make money on it? Possibly. Is it going to be a quick pump and dump? Probably. So, you know, keep your head about you. Uh, I hope this video is helpful and a little fun at the same time. I kind of have to do a talking head video today because well, we are doing a power upgrade at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. I have to be up, have all the miners shut down, and we are upgrading our external panel so we can mine as safely and as much as possible in what used to be my son's bedroom. Yep, yep. You do what you do when you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we have another bedroom for him. It's fine. We didn't sell him for Bitcoin. At least not yet. I'll see you next Tuesday.